Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be doing something a bit more different than the ones I've already done over the past few weeks. And we're going to be doing a wheel spin buying horse video today. And I'm at Gold Spur right now because the Arabians are being sold over there, Generation 3. And on my phone in front of me right now, I've got a wheel spin up and ready to go with the Arabian, Icelandic, and American paint horse on it. And the reason I've got those three horses is, well, they're all Generation 3. That's the thing I need. And, and well, they are the top three horses that have came out over the past few months, which aren't limited, such as the Shadow Shield and Snow Dancer, along with the Halloween horses and all the limited time events. And we're going to start, we're going to be starting this right now and i'm going to be spinning it hopefully hopefully it lands on the icelandic we're going to be doing the one that first the one that uh the one that the arrow lands on first is the one that we're going to be getting so let's spin the wheel and the lucky winner is <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it is the Icelandic. Yay. Okay, so it's a good thing I've got another window open. And it has the Icelandics on it. I'm not going to be getting the, um, the app horse, even though it is currently on my iPad right now. I'm not going to be buying that one. That's going to be saved for another video. So, right now, we're going to be heading over to New Hillcrest Stables to to go to the Icelandics. I still haven't bought one of the Icelandics, nor the Appaloosas, but only the American Paint Horse. I've got the American Paint Horse, the, the Star Dapple Grey and White Pinto American Paint Horse, if I'm right, in my stable. And... And its name is Quick Cry, aka Quickie. I just searched up koala names, and um, and one of them stood out to me, so it was Quickie. And that was actually on a TV show, like many years ago. Ooh, this plastic. I really, really love the Icelandics. I want to get one so bad. I also kind of want to get the one that has the, um, that has the, uh, the, I think it is, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like the Cremello and I'll show you, I'll show you. I think it's the, the one that's next to the, um, the, the silver chestnut. Yeah, this one right here. I really want to get this one. But then again, I want to buy this horse, which looks like uh, my mom's uh, in real life friend's dog. He's a Labradoodle and he's so cute. His name is Archie. I really want to get this horse so pretty but anyway we're going to be laying the wheel beside that for us today i'm going to open up my phone okay so this is number one this is number two this is number three that's number four that's number five and that's number six which everyone we land on last is the one that we're going to be buying today. All right, let's do this. Might take a while. All right. 
So we remove number three. So number three is out of the game. Um, next one is going to be. So we're not going to be getting the black and white Pinto, and we are not going to be getting. We're not going to be getting the silver chestnut. I think, or is it the liver chestnut? I still don't know. Okay. I'm going to remove that. The last ones we have are 1, 2, 4, and 5. I really... I Oh, no. We're not going to be getting this one. So, I guess I'm just going to have to get that one in another one. In another video. Oh, dang it. Okay, so we've got... One, four. Oh, we don't have one anymore. So it's between four, five. It's between number four and five. And let's see which one we get. Oh my gosh. Which one is it? Oh, we are going to be getting this one over here. Oh my gosh. Well, that's going to be fun. Alright. So, let's get ready. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. I think this one has... Um... Is it... Herochromia, I think. I think that's what it's called. I don't really know. Oh, this is such a cute photo. I was going to look at the eyes, but it seems like it's closed them. I have a feeling that many people will be calling this one Storm Cloud. But I think I'm going to call it a different name. This one looks so cute. Oh, that's so adorable. Okay. So. So I think I might as well look at um, uh, some name ideas real quick. And. Um, Oh no, I can't. So I'm gonna have to come up with one up right up on the spot. Wait, hold on. Excuse me for a second. I'm still here, but I'm just checking on my computer for the name idea, so I'll be right back. So I know why I'm going to name this horse. So this horse sort of looks like a void, in my opinion. And because of the eyes, I think... I'm not quite sure, but I think voids have, like, blue and, like... Like, different types of colors in it. So I think I might name this horse Void or Ingrid Kinos. I got this one from a video and oh that looks so satisfying this is gonna be so fun and oh space gate that, that's so cute I think all right we're gonna be choosing the name right now hmm let's see guys so there's void I could just go with void or, I could choose a different name. One YouTuber I watch, Just Another Pixel. She's the greatest. And, um, usually for her horse's names, she usually picks out a name. And then for the Yorvik name, she just... I think she just, uh, um, makes the Yorvik name sound like, uh, like the horse's actual name, so like her, so like uh, take uh, one of her um, t 
Take one of her American Paint Horses, for example. Oh my gosh, there's a club here. And, um, Cam Cameron, I think. And it's, uh, your name is Coral Fruit. Wait. It's something Coral Fruit. I, I, I'm not sure, but it sounds like Cameron. So, I don't think I'm going to be doing that, but I think I might just go like, <gasps> Oh, I kind of want to go like, um, Space Boy, but I'm going to save that for another one. This is so cute. Um, I'm gonna look for something in the um space storm. I could do that. Void is sort of like a space storm, right? Um, oh my goodness, I think we found the perfect name, guys. Space storm, aka Void or Kinos. This is so cute. In three, two, one. Oh my goodness, we got the horse. I'm so excited. This is my very first Icelandic. You don't know how happy this makes me. This is amazing. And then victory rear. And then let's go back to our stable, which is at Steve's, by the way. Oh my goodness. This horse. So after I make an outfit, I'm going to be showing the gates to you guys. Just in case you haven't, I know that most people have already done it. Oh my gosh, that was so creepy. But, I haven't seen them that close up. So, I think I'm going to be, um, I'm just going to be showing it to you. And I'm not really doing like a bit of a montage, but just showing it to you. I'm going to replace Foxy here. Oh my goodness, Space Storm, aka Kinos or Void, I still don't know what to name it, and we got the horse, oh my goodness, I'm going to leave that up on the, um, my horse right now, this horse is so cute, I love it, oh I'm already in love, we're going to be checking out the main styles as well you guys, um, hmm, horse seems so cute so it needs a cute outfit that's that's what it deserves all right we're gonna be looking at something good here this might take a bit of a while so right now i'm in a bit of a pickle all right i think i make this horse very it's very own i a little bit little i think we might make this horse it's a very own outfit. I think since we named it Space Storm, I think we might go for this saddle pad here since it looks like uh, the night sky. It's so cute. All right, I think. Oh, I'm gonna need that. Um, and I think we're gonna be buying, we don't have the pants, but I could make this work. I think I might wear this. This looks good. And what else are we going to use? I'm vibing with these pants right now. Haven't worn those ones in a while. Hmm. I like this sweater as well. Oh my gosh, it's always... Did you see that? I swear, someone just popped up in my stable. That freaked me out. Or I think we might go for like... A blue as well sort of thing. Alright, let's do this. This is uh, another one the outfits I sort of wear. I love this outfit. Um, hmm. Oh my goodness. Um. Ah, this is so hard. Um. 
Um, I think you know what? we'll just we'll just go with the regular ones. I think I don't think we'll go for like these ones. Um, we could go with this, and then we'll get that from the horse. Hmm. We're gonna need to match it with a bit of pink, I think. Hey, that rhymed. Hmm. The hardest part about buying a horse is making the outfit, in my opinion. I think I might go with these. It's not the best outfit, but it may have to do for now. Oh, I like this, but I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to sell this one because I've already got double up. This is from um. I think it's from. Oh. Oh, this is so hard. I think I might just go with that. Go with that. Um. Um, we're gonna have to get the staff from this horse. Alright. Oh! What? Alright, that got me really confused. I can't see because there's a massive microphone in my way. Let's put it on. Alright. We're gonna go and check out the gates as soon as possible, but I'm just gonna put away this, um... Oh, I should have done a, um... I should have done a wheel spin about if I could pick the name or not. Oh, well. I think I might take off the bridle as well and turn to a wild horse so you guys can actually probably see the, um... the mane and the hairstyles. All right. Oh yeah, and also, um, if you haven't heard, the um, the Welsh ponies are going to be getting an update, which I'm so excited for. Oh, oh no! I don't really like how there's um, like little brown tints in the in the main at the front. But anyhow, I'm going to be showing you. We're we'll showing you these main styles. So the tail doesn't really change for the first one. Please put up your head. Thank you. This one. Aw. Uh, you can see a little marking at the front as well, if you like. It's so cute. Looks like a donkey. And then. Aw. Oh. And the main gets. The that's not a mane. The tail gets braided with it as well. Um, and this one, it actually looks like a donkey. The tail doesn't really change much. Oh, uh, this is the fjord mane. This is so cute. I would get this, but oh, uh, this one. I love this one. Um. Oh, this one. They don't really change, but this one, I don't really like it. Um, I'm kind of vibing with the normal mane, but I think I might just go with Eeny Miny Mo with this one, because why not? Just leave it down to that. Eeny Meeny Miny Mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he squeals, let him go. Eeny Meeny Miny Mo, boy, scat, you're out. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Okay. So, I'll... Oh, I think we're going to put these on. So cute. Alright. So, out here, I am going to show you the gates. So, hold on. I'll zoom it in for you guys. I'm just feeling a bit generous. Okay. Let's start. So, here's the walk. It's really cute. I love how it opens up its mouth like, 
Bleh, bleh, bleh. You know what I mean? It's adorable. The, the main moves, but our characters, they look so, so uncomfortable in the seat of the saddle. And they don't, they barely even move, but apart from that, 10 out of 10, I love it. The trot, so cute. All right, now this time, um, it's a bit glitched here, but it's just so cute. Well, it's a little fluffy patch there. So, that's so uh, good. 10 out of 10 once again. All right, canter. I love this. I hope it's so. I think the next one I'm going to buy is going to name to Flo. Oh, yeah, and the one I was talking about, number six. I think I would name that one Waffle because it looks like a waffle to me. Um, yeah, this one. I love the skate. 10 out of 10 once again. All right, slow gallop. I love the flying pace. It looks like it's marching into battle. So cute. All right. All right, and then next one. I love this. Although the... Mmm... I do like this, but you know what? There's just something off about it. All right, next we're going to be doing the jumps. So the jump, it's good, it's good. All right, so this is what it looks like. Oh, this is, this is a weird picture. Um, it doesn't really talk as much. I think it does, but I think I just got the wrong one. And then as it breaks his impact uh, when it goes down. Yeah, that's good. Check the underbelly as well. Amazing. Alright, we're gonna check the slow gallop one. All right. It's good, it's good. Alright, so it's tucking, and, yeah, it seems good, it's good. Hmm. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Alright. Alright, the jump for this, nothing wrong with it, I love it. Alright, next we're going to be checking out the hard stop. And mm, it's not like the Arabians ones or the Orvik Frisians, but I like it. It's nice and simple. It's good. Then usually the turns are different on each horse. So I'm gonna look at that. Yeah, it's good. Now it's time for the rear. Aww, so cute. That's so adorable. All right, and then the resting animations. I love the part when it um, reaches down and like it is its um, legs, its four legs. Oh, th yeah, this is my favorite one. Oh, also this one as well. It's like the Gotland Ponies ones. When they step in front, then they shake their heads and then they go back. Oh yeah, the backing up. That's good. I like it. I think uh, it's a bit more slower than the other ones. But, alright, never mind that. The moment you've all been waiting for. The Tolt. That's that's the new one. Or, uh, there's nothing like that. Oh, that's so cute. Let's go. I love it. It looks like it's prancing around. It makes it look so majestic and goofy at the same time. It's just like the older Icelandic uh, ones, but not really at the same time. All right, now that's going to be it for today's video. So, 
Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm definitely going to be doing some more wheel spin videos in the future. And um, I will see you all in the next video. And goodbye. Well, first of all, look at this little clip. Let's go, Kinos. Okay, there we go. Hello everyone and welcome back to another in the future.